Hey guys, Ken here with Tax Canine. Uh, today I'm working with the, uh, the pups on uh, what we call a tetherback or tieback line. Um, this is just a line that allows us to tether the dog as we're working the dog around. We're going to train around and allow the dog to um, kind of learn by observation. One will learn from the other. Um, and in this exercise, we're going to be just going around and round and round but off in the far corner is going to be a place board. Now each, uh, and place is just a designated spot that the dog learns to do a certain behavior. Each dog has certain requirements. Leonard's gonna have a little bit of a different uh, um, career path as, as a little bit here, but um, both will learn on the place board to do their respective um, requests. So, uh, Leonard is going to just learn to stand still on the place board and then we're going to teach him the send off and then we're going to work with him just learning on his leash manners and being a good boy. We're going to do, use two different tools. The first tool I'm going to use today with Leonard is just a, a, a little rope. You might see the cowboys use a little nylon rope. Um, yeah, we affectionately call it the wonder lead, sometimes called the command lead, um, but it is simply just a slip collar that will instantly pop release should any pressure be put on if uh, Leonard was pulling or something like that. So we're going to do a couple loops around just to let you see um, what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do when I walk up to Leonard is I don't want to reward a dog for excited crazy behavior. So they have learned, they're starting to develop their off skills. And remember I always say it's uh, we teach the dog off before we teach the dog on. So I'm going to take my little wonder rope here and I'm going to slide it over, over uh, Leonard's head here. Now he's getting a little fidgety, so I'm just gonna wait him out. Patience is the key to something like this. All right. We slide the tap down on this tool just enough that it gives us a little bit of room. And then I give him a, a cue to move. Just a couple tugs. Now I want to straighten them up a little bit, guys. So I'm just going to kind of help Leonard stay exactly on this place board. It will just give him the motivation not to step off. And then I'm going to go ahead, once he kind of keeps his cue straight, give a little tap on the head to move him around. Cue to come follow me here. Cue to spin back around. Again, I'm just gonna get a little swipe on his head. Uh -uh. I'm gonna give him a couple pops on his command lead. Uh, so now, Leonard went ahead, Pat. I'm gonna give him a couple cuts, and we're just gonna take another walk around. Now, I'm also training this dog at the same time. He's not being very reactive. So a couple pops. And I'm gonna hold Leonard in his position a, a second or two, let him start building up. I'm not naming the command right now because I need him to understand what the command is without words. We'll slowly add on a visual and then a, uh, uh, a verbal on top of that. Leonard's cued in on some birds, which is what we want. I'm not really going to correct him for him uh, moving his head around or checking things out, uh -uh. unless he does something along those lines. Now, I want him to develop his scent, that's why. So now, I'm gonna put Leonard on, back on the tether string, and I'm gonna step on this line. We always tell you to step on the leash so you always maintain control of the dog, but for Leonard here, I'm not gonna encourage him to lay down, I'm not gonna encourage him to do anything, I'm just gonna encourage him to stand here until Till he realizes he doesn't go anywhere, and then whoops, sorry about. That. I know. Get that little. So now the next tool I'm going to do with the other pup is we're going to use our tool that we typically use, which is our canine lifeline 
or our transitional leash. Um, and it's just a rope halter tool. And that's the tool that he's gonna be trained on. Give me a second, notice he's calm, not crying, not having a fit. So I'm gonna saddle up next to the dog, step on this little drag line a little bit, put on the tool. Get your ears out, bud, you got some hairy ears. Okay. Unclip the line, and then I'm gonna give him a cue to walk ahead. So when he gets a little distracted, took a little steady pressure, and voila, he starts coming around, moving up really, really nice. So we taught him, when he comes up to the board, he just sits like a good little boy. Um, sorry. Sorry, bub. Yeah. Because <laughs> I get so many, it gets confusing. So now I'm going to take a step off, and the dog's going to follow me. A couple cuts here, a tug there, just a little one. Just give him a little cue of what you want. Now I can, over the next few repetitions, start adding the word place. Now the dog will start to, to, to build up a visual, verbal, and an audible. So right now we're still in that sort of physical contact pressure stage and I'm giving them a little cue to start beating off and that's just a little brush or tap on the head to say, hey, Bob, I need you to go in this direction. But also notice Leonard is not having a conniption fit, which the first few times we did this, he couldn't learn off. Now he's learning off. So when, uh, when dad's out hunting with him, uh, when, there's, when, there's, when it's time to be off and everybody wants to relax, Leonard's gonna know what off means. Good. good. Good, 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 good pups, good pups, good pups. Come back up to our little tie back section. You can do this tie back at your home. Doesn't have to be a fancy dancy cable like this. We go ahead, clip the dog back to the, to the, uh, to the original tether. And that's when I take off the tool. And remember, this is always a key part with the tool. We gotta tell the dog thank you. So after we slide this off, we give him a little rub right over the beak. Say thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to tug on you. Uh, with long haired dogs like this, I like to just tug on their hair, kind of make them used to getting picked on by the groomer when it's time to groom. And uh, yeah, that's it. So today we're in day three of our, uh, of our board and train program. And uh, as you can see, I think our students are coming along, are along quite nicely. All right, guys. Thanks for choosing tax scanning. Good boy. Good boy.